What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is 7.45 on a Monday morning and it's been a long time since we've taken you guys along a day in the life as we manage our income streams and our Turo fleet. So what better day to do that than today? All right HP, have fun checking in cars. What are you doing? I gotta edit videos. You serious? Yes. <laughs> So these are the cars you need to get checked in today. The Hyundai Tucson's going out at 9 a.m. The black Ford Escape and the blue Honda Fit are going out at 10 a.m. And this white Yaris is going out at 3.30. All right, so nice vacuuming is what we're looking like. The back's not really that bad. So a 505 mile trip and we need to fill it with gas. And while HP is working on the Turo fleet, I typically will spend most of my day in the office or in the YouTube studio filming content. For example, this is what I'm working on now. I've been editing this video since 5 a.m. So for the last two to three hours, I'm finishing it up now. And then I'll move on to editing some content for HP and I's channel, which I'll do until about 10 a.m. where then I'll move on to some other work. And I am so glad we're getting reimbursements because gas is so expensive right now. 477 for regular. Woo. So the renter for this car is actually already at the lot a little early because it's our Yaris renter. The Yaris renter was a little too squished inside the Toyota Yaris, wanted something a little bit bigger, and we have the Hyundai Tucson available now. So he's gonna be taking this car until July, and he's gonna be ending on his trip where he's had it for, I think, already about a week. Not bad. And there it goes. I really don't understand it when people say that the Yaris isn't big enough. I feel like this car has a lot of room. Being somebody who is six foot six, honestly, I don't know what else I'd want. Now for this next part, the Toyota Yaris needs a boosted board. Well, I'm actually gonna go take it for a state inspection and this is my only way of transportation back. And then we can clean it and get it ready for its rental tomorrow. Huh, looks like Aubrey and Nico. Oh, it is Aubrey and Nico. Heat. Dude, what's up with that Mustang? Is that yours? Where'd you see it? My husband told me about it. Oh, yeah. Is that like your personal car? Yeah, it's a personal car. He's like, what does he do? <laughs> and I go, what? Have you heard of OnlyFans? I do Feet Finder. So both of these cars have wash passes, so I don't even have to take them to the house. Just gotta take them to go get washed. So it's 9.45 a.m. I just got done editing a YouTube video. I published it on my channel. It's gonna be going out later this afternoon. I took Nico on a walk and HP's been running around the entire city, getting cars checked in, getting them inspected and dealing with the Turo fleet. So one thing that I think is sort of funny is the fact that whenever HP and I show us, you know, working on cars for our fleet in these YouTube videos, we more often than not will show us doing these things together. So running errands together, cleaning cars together, doing things together with our fleet. And this is in part due to the fact that, you know, it's Aubrey and HP YouTube channel. It's a channel we have together. And we also typically need two people to film efficiently. 
But in reality, whenever we're working on our fleet just on our own in a normal day-to-day -day basis, we very rarely do anything together. And 99% of the time, we will divide our tasks that we need to get done on an either weekly or daily basis. We'll divide those in halves and we'll each tackle our own tasks independently. So there will oftentimes be times where HP and I won't see each other all day until it's time for dinner at 6 or 7 p.m. And so because of that, here is my daily to-do list for the stuff that I gotta get done for HP and I's company. And then I also work as a consultant for a consulting firm as like a salaried employee. So here's the stuff that I need to get done for that company. And so I have a jam packed day. And so it's time to get to work. I gotta be glued to my computer cause I gotta get this stuff done. One down, two to go. Nico, what you doing, buddy? Oh, hello. Aubrey! I'm home! Greetings. Have you been productive? Because I have. I have been. I have been productive. Now, in a typical day, if Aubrey isn't in a bunch of call and meetings, and I'm not inundated with a bunch of Turo check-ins, we have lunch together. What do we have for lunch? You're eating leftover pizza, and I'm eating pasta. Yes! Big stretch! So one thing that HP and I do a couple of times a week is we organize our QuickBooks. So this is whenever HP and I get on the same page on basically where our money is going. So HP will tell me where he's spending funds. That way we can make sure that everything gets organized properly whenever it comes to doing our P&L at the end of each month. There's a lot of transactions. <laughs> oh my gosh. One hour later. Well, now that all the boring office work is done, Aubrey's gonna stay here and, well, be boring. Let's go on some adventures. Well, time to go return some stuff and pick up something that's been missing on the Ranger for quite some time. First stop, it's to get rid of this old water pump that unfortunately Amazon sent me the wrong one. It was supposed to be updated and I was like, yeah, maybe this is updated. Turns out it wasn't, it was just the wrong one. And then, some foam stuff for the uh, Kia Rio that uh, did not end up panning out. So let's go return those here at Whole Foods Market. Almost forgot Ob's almond milk. Hello. Now while HP was gone, I got a nice chunk of the stuff that I needed to get done completed. But one thing that is left that's very important is to get the rental documents prepped for our RV rental tomorrow. So the RV is going out on a rental tomorrow until the kind of beginning mid July. It's gonna be gone for about two and a half, three weeks. And the thing about renting out RVs, it's quite a bit different than renting out cars, is that there are more steps to getting the rental ready. So one of those steps is printing out rental documents. It's a rental contract. There's another contract basically telling the renter like, hey, you're liable for towing this RV. There's a pet contract if their pet does any damage to the RV. So there's a number of different documents that do have to be printed out and they have to be prepared so that the renter can sign them tomorrow whenever HP meets them in person.
So I never go with HP to actually do the key exchange for the RV. I never go there to meet the guest. I never am there for the walkthrough. I handle purely the administrative stuff. And so I make sure that all the paperwork is ready to go. And that includes doing what I just did, printing everything off, making sure everything is highlighted where they need to sign, putting sign here stickers so that nobody forgets to sign anything, and really just trying to make the process as fast, streamlined, and easy to do as possible. I know that it's a pain for HP to drive all the way to our RV lot, deal with the guests, explain everything. So I try to make my side of the process as quick and easy as I possibly can. And definitely having a binder with sign here stickers and highlighters really, really helps. Now this rental that the renter is going on tomorrow is for Outdoorsy, which does require a little bit more documentation than like RV share, for example, but it isn't too bad, especially because of the fact that you actually make more, more per day on Outdoorsy. And in the case of this rental, it's going out for quite a long time. So we'll end up making $1,200 off of it, which is a huge win. Now that the arse is all done with the state inspection, time to bring it back here for cleaning. It's a lot harder without Aubrey, but the booster board really helps. Well guys, it's seven o'clock. Aubrey is throwing down some sweet foodies on some plates. It's time to call it quits for the days. This has been a day in the life. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next episode.